All praise is for Allah, the Lord of the worlds, and peace and blessings be upon the Messenger Muhammad and his family and his companions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, my dear Muslim brothers and sisters, and welcome to any non Muslims that may be listening. I would like to share with you 10 easy actions that you can perform that will earn you great rewards and bring benefit to people in this world and to you in the next world. These particular actions, um, I have uh, seen some of them mentioned and some of them are from my own ideas. Um, I hope that you will be able to do some of them and you will find them easy to do and I hope that you can see that how these actions can lead to a much bigger impact than the amount of effort that is required on your behalf. So first of all, number one, give a copy of the Quran to somebody. If it is a Muslim person, then give them a copy of the Quran in Arabic or Arabic and the language that they speak so that they can learn to recite it or they could use it as well as to understand the meaning of it. If you are going to give a copy of the Quran to a non-Muslim, it's better to give them a copy of the Quran just uh, not in Arabic, just a translation of the Quran in their own language only. Number two, donate a wheelchair to a hospital. Even in England, where there is a welfare state and the government is putting a lot of money into the National Health Service, there's still shortage of funds for hospitals. So if you can, or if you can, with the help of your friends and family or your community, raise money and donate a wheelchair to your hospital, it will bring great benefit to the hospital, to the patients. Some of them may be from your own community. When they go to the hospital, they will use it. And every time somebody uses that hospital, you will get reward. And the reward will continue even if you pass away. But that wheelchair is still being used for people who need it in that hospital. Then even from your grave, you will continue to receive reward. Number three, teach somebody an ayah of the Quran or a short surah. It's easy, very easy to teach them. Teach them Ayatul Kursi or teach them Surah, surah Al-Ikhlas or teach them um, the last two verses of Surah Baqarah or teach them a specific verse that will benefit them in some way. Teach them how to recite it, teach them the meaning of it and teach them about the, the benefits, the fadl of reciting that ayah or that surah. Number four, Teach someone a dua that is from the Sunnah of Muhammad, peace be upon him, or any of the prophets from Ibrahim alayhi salam or Nu alayhi salam or Isa alayhi salam or Musa alayhi salam. Any dua that the prophets used to perform, or the dua indeed that one of the companions of any of the prophets used to perform, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to, teach somebody to make this dua. And then every time that person makes that dua, you will get a reward. Even after you pass away, if that person is still left in the world, or if they then teach somebody else, and they make that dua, even from the grave you will continue to get this reward. Donate a Quranic CD, or share a Quranic CD, or lend it to somebody. Sometimes people are busy, or sometimes somebody is not able to read the Quran in Arabic or recite it themselves they can listen to it from a CD in the car or in their home if you share it with them then when they listen they will get the benefit and they will get the reward and you will get the reward as well number six participate in building a masjid however much you can donate is obviously very difficult for one person to build a masjid on his own although in the past there have been some people who have done this 
But whatever much you can donate, you will share in the reward. As long as people pray in this masjid, or give us Islamic speech, a lecture, or recite Quran, or even any other action that the Messenger Muhammad used to do in the masjid. In the, in the past, the people who were ill were taken to the masjid for treatment. In the masjid, they used to receive ambassadors from other countries. They used to deal with disputes. They even used to train people for war or watch demonstrations of fighting techniques in the masjid. Any of these things, if they're being used in the masjid, because you participated in building it, even from the grave, you will continue to receive reward every time somebody uses the masjid for a good deed. Number seven, build a tube well or donate a bottle of water in a water cooler in a public place, in a hospital, in a school, or even by the roadside where people travel. Um, so that when they are thirsty, they can, if it is in, a, in a, one of the countries in the Asia or Africa, then they have tube wells. If you build a tube well in a public place and anybody drinks from that tube well, you will get the reward. They will get the quenching of their thirst. And even after you pass away, if people continue to do, draw water from this tube well, you will continue to, to get reward even in your grave. Number eight, plant a tree. A man once said that people understand the condition of human life when they start planting shade trees, when they know that they will never sit under the shade of that tree. Meaning that an old man or woman plants a shade tree that will take many years before it is big enough to give shade and he knows that he has very little chance of living to the age where this tree will have shade and he will, or she will be able to sit under that shade. Indeed, if you plant a tree in this world, the Messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will plant a tree in Jannah for you. You will just have to make sure that you reach Jannah, that you have your Iman, your faith, and you do good deeds. And that Allah SWT has mercy on you so that you can reach that place. And for every seed you plant, every tree you plant, Allah will plant a tree in Jannah for you. And that tree and that seed on the Day of Judgment will intercede for you as well. If you look after a tree, if you water a tree, that tree will intercede for you on the Day of Judgment. And you get continuous reward. Even after you pass away, if the tree is still alive, and a animal, even a caterpillar, eats a leaf of that tree, or a bird eats the fruit of that tree, or indeed a human benefits from that tree, in any way you will get the reward from it. There are some trees that are 6,000 years old. Subhanallah. So among the best things that last that you could do is building a masjid or planting a tree, because these things last a long time except for when some masjids have been attacked and bombed recently in Iraq and in other countries during wars and obviously trees you cannot guarantee a tree will survive it's in the hands of Allah some trees will not grow to adulthood and some trees will grow to adulthood and will be cut down for whatever reasons beyond your control but in the hands of Allah some trees are alive for thousands of years so plant trees plant trees fruit trees plant trees that have medicinal properties plant trees that give spices and spices usually have both culinary and medicinal properties you bring benefit to yourself and others in this world and you will get a reward in this world and in the hereafter donate number nine donate seeds if you cannot afford to plant a tree or you don't have a space to plant a tree yourself, donate seeds or donate small saplings or seedlings, small plants to people to plant in their land or on their homes. Or you could donate some money to a forest, the Woodland Trust in the UK and many other organizations like this. Take donations and they plant trees. They benefit people in this world and it will benefit you in the Akhirah. Participate in these. 
projects. Finally, number 10, encourage people to do continuous reward actions. That is rewards that will continue even after they pass away. The Messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that nothing will benefit the son of Adam after he has passed away except for three. And he said, number one, if he has done some sadaka zariya, that means a charity that continues even after he has passed away, like some of the things I've mentioned earlier, or if he has leave behind some knowledge that people benefit from after he has passed away, for example, Imam Bukhari, his books of the authentic hadith, um, Imam Nawawi, his books of 40 hadith and Riyadhus Salihin where he not only as he collected hadith but he has given the explanation so that we can understand easily etc that even after they pass away people benefit from these books then they the, those actions will help them even after they pass away finally says leave behind a noble son or noble children that will do good deeds and will pray for him and that will help him even after he has passed away and the ulama have explained that the meaning of leaving behind noble children is not restricted just to your children that you give birth to that the ulama understand this to also mean your students so not only children you you give birth to and you nurture and you teach and you raise but also if you have students that you sincerely teach them to become noble in character then their prayers and their good deeds will also benefit you in the Akhirah. I hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me and you the tawfiq to understand what I have said and the tawfiq to act upon this and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses um, my actions and the actions of anybody who follows on in doing any of the actions I have mentioned above um, I will just summarize once again very quickly the 10 things that I've mentioned. Number one, give a copy of the Quran to somebody. Number two, donate a wheelchair to a hospital. Number three, teach someone an ayah or a surah from the Quran. Number four, teach someone a dua that was said from the Messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him, or any of the other prophets or any of their companions. Number five, Share or donate a Quranic CD. Number six, participate in building a masjid. Number seven, give some water, build a tube well or donate some water in a water cooler in a public place. Number eight, plant a tree in a public place or in a private place. Number nine, donate some seeds or plants or baby trees. And number 10, encourage people to do actions that will con that the benefit of which will continue even after they pass away.